Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to connect Microsoft Outlook to MailChimp. So let's begin. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer that there is no direct way for you to connect Microsoft Outlook to MailChimp. All right, but there are two ways that we know how to do it. Basically, the first step is just go here at apination.com because here syncing your apps has never been easier all right so all you're gonna do is click on start syncing and from here there are multiple apps that you can choose to integrate or sync so we are searching for mailchimp obviously and here it is click on that and you will see the options that you have to integrate with this one so we are looking for microsoft outlook and there it is as we speak so all they're gonna do from here is wait for it to load it's not gonna take too long all right and then just click on activate all right so you want to sync mailchimp to outlook and after clicking on that you will be directed to a new page and click on connect basically and here you will be asked for the api key just click on connect now once you have done with all of these api nation will do the work for you all right that's one way and the next method that we know is if you have an account here in zapier basically you can create integrations between mailchimp and microsoft outlook to automate any workflow and of course you can um, explore endless possibilities and all you're gonna do is click on the orange button here to connect these apps now you will be directed to a new page where in here's the app and event basically it's mailchimp that's going to be the trigger and the event is in for the uh, new audience or a new campaign and that's how it looks we can click on the outlook itself all right and all they're gonna do is click on continue create an action now once you have done that you can also um rename the uh draft here to connect microsoft outlook to mailchimp and once you have done that all they're gonna do is publish and you can sit back and relax because zapier will do the work for you okay now because when you go here on the connect apps and in integration i'm sorry but you can't find any outlook as you can see from here even if you type say for example microsoft so you have to do all those methods that we mentioned and that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one